In this video, I'm gonna show you my setup and process for creating short form videos. First off, I start with the idea. I sit down and I take about an hour to write out 10 to 12 videos so that I can fill them in bulk. So this is my setup here. This is my down light. This light is to just fill the frame, fill as much light into the area as possible. So the more light for the camera to pick up on, the more detailed everything will be. The side light is a filler light, and that light is designed to fill the shadows that are created by the light coming down on me and the windows that I have at either side. So I could just use the windows, but I wanna be in control of the lighting as best I can. So I pull the curtains and I use these lights instead. I also have my ring light just set off at a 45 degree angle so that it just highlights everything as well. In the background, you'll see around the frame of the bookcase, there is also a little purple light. And then beside that, there's a little funky cool light. What that does is take me out of the background. So it makes, it makes a space look like a space rather than it just being, um, with most cameras, whenever you're sitting in front of something no matter how far away you are it kind of pulls you back into it so a light behind you will light up that area a little bit and will give you a bit of depth as well and then the camera i'm using the camera to film this obviously but it just sits on the tripod like that and this is it from the other angle so the ring lights here you'll see the light in front of me that's shining down upon me the camera's on top of the tripod and then there's the light off to the side so what you probably noticed when you've seen that is the rest of this room is a complete mess. And that's something that clients will say a lot. I've nowhere to, I've nowhere to video, everywhere's a mess. So in this room, I've probably taken up an eighth of the room in the corner and made the corner look good. So once you make one area look good, you can control the camera so that you only film that area. So usually I don't show all that back in, but you guys are special, so welcome to the mess. So this is what it looks like whenever I start to film. So I have everything set up. This first bit, the only lights are on are what's coming through the curtains and the wee cool backlight and the light that's around the bookcase. So you'll see the difference. So we'll see it the way it's, there's a bit of harsh shadow and I'm a bit dark. So this is me starting to turn on the lights. You'll see the difference that all these lights make. I probably should have stopped in between each one so you could see what they do, but I'll do a different video on that. But you'll just see the difference. All the lights are on, all the setup ones, the one above me, the one at the side. And see, I mean, that fills everything. There's no harsh shadows. You can see everything a lot clearer. And then when I start filming, so you'll see, I have my page that I wrote on earlier. And I, I read the first line and I say the first line. Then I start again. I say this, th that time I'm singing it. That one mightn't go into it, but... And then again, I think, right, trying it again. So what I'm doing there is I'm saying each line two to three times. The reason for that is whenever you're starting out with your videos, a lot of the time we'll say something like, so the first line is why you should stand and deliver. So we'll read that and we'll go, right, we'll read the whole thing and we'll try to say it. Why should you stand and deliver? And you're trying to remember everything and say it really fast and get it over with, just like I just did there now. And you'll notice how off-putting that is. And I know when I look at my analytics, that's when people will dip out. So I read the first line and I say it. I say it out sharp and I pause, have we think, change the tone, change where I deliver the word. So maybe the first one is why you should stand and deliver. And then I think about it and I go, stand and deliver should be a bit more. Why you should stand and deliver. And then I might think, well, that's that doesn't make sense anymore. So I'll add a wee bit. Why you should just stand and deliver your message. And then that feels a lot more clear for me and a lot stronger. So then I go on to the next line and you'll see it here. I, I, I stop, I read, I come back and I start again. So I, I go through this, there I'm reading again. I go through this for the entire video. I stop, so it takes about 58 seconds this video is to get through every line. And that's what I advise all my clients to do. It takes the pressure off. You're only trying to remember one line at a time. You don't need to go through everything. And then we just cut out the fluff. We cut out the stuff that just doesn't sound good. And we take the best clip, the best version of you saying it, 
and we use that in our final product. So I will put a link to the final product once I edit that one. Maybe the second one will stay in, who knows. Basically that's my setup. So if you don't have all these fancy lights, get yourself a ring light. They're about 20 quid on Amazon. Use the lighting from your windows if you need to, but the more you can control the light, the better your video will look. One last thing, I'm also using a mic. You want your audio to be very clear. So I'm using the Rode Wireless Go 2, not sponsored, but they should sponsor me. Uh, I connected up to a wee lapel mic, but you don't need the lapel mic. And just to notice the difference, this is what it sounds like just with the little lapel. And when I unplug the lapel, this is what it sounds like now. Uh, it's probably still pretty clear. A lot of people you'll see holding it. Um, you can set it, that's it on the table, so it's about half a foot away from me. Um, I'm just going to put it back in. I like to have it in the lapel just because that's what I've always done. And that's how I managed to get my month's worth of content videoed in about an hour and a half. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. If you want to tag me in a video to check out to see if I could help you improve it, then please do that as well. And until the next time, have a super awesome day, whatever you get up to, and I'll speak again soon.